Right. It's OTB pick four, which started in the fourth race when letter B, Field Skipper, was the winner in 202 and two fifths with Tom Houghton driving. The fifth race went, as you saw, to letter B, Mendy, driven by Norm DePlays in 203. And then in the seventh race, it was one, letter A, Premier Ney, driven by Regine Dagneau, substituting for the injured Meritoki in 159. So as we head into the finale of tonight's OTB pick four, it is B. B and A. Combine that with 1A, RT a little bit, 612.60. Then the two short prices, B, Heather Lord, 247.80, and 3C, Sultan Skipper, 210.90. The D horse, Al Quinton, will pay over $2,000. The E horse, Distant Land, 228. And then you have three longies, as you can see, from there out. In the late daily double, 31.60. 23.80 and $22 on the one, two, and three horses. And the long shots here are the seven and eight horses at 229.80 and 232.40. That's the eighth race lineup. Jackie Lee will give us the call right now, the second half of the double. Here's Jack. They're all on the inside. Of Heather Lord out for the lead up the rail is Archie a little bit. From the outside moves J.C.'s Shearex. Around the first turn they go. Heather Lord on the outside. Archie a little bit at the rail. They match stride for stride. They head down the back stretch first time. Archie Littlebit has the lead. Parked outside is Heather Lord to challenge for the lead. Moving along the inside. Uh, Sultan the Skipper is a close up third. They approach the quarter pole and Heather Lord has made the front for Mike Sorrentino. Archie Littlebit back to second. Sultan Skipper racing third. J.C. Shearest is tucked in fourth. Al Quinton fifth. Distant Land Giotto and distributor the first quarter in the 29 and 3. Moving around the paddock turn the first time, Heather Lord in command for Mike Sorrentino by a length and a half. Archie Little bit is second, Sultan Skipper racing third, J.C. Shear is fourth. As they approach the half mile pole, it's Heather Lord in front up on the outside comes Sultan Skipper to challenge for the lead. They reach the half mile pole in 1-1 one, one flat, Heather Lord and Sultan Skipper now battling for the lead as they move around the clubhouse turn the final time, Heather Lord shows the way on the outside. Side. Sultan Skipper right there to challenge in the pocket RT little bit third. Moving with cover, distant land on the outside is a closer fourth. JC Shearer's hit down the back stretch the final time. Sultan Skipper on the outside driving for the lead. At the rail is Heather Lord back to second. The outside distant land comes on third. From the extreme outside is distributor. Three quarters and one, 31 and one. Around the final turn on top. Sultan Skipper leads it by two. On the outside, that's a distant land, a distant second. As they come to the top of the stretch, Sultan Skipper and Jimmy Marone draw away from the field. Lead it by four lanes inside the 16th pole. That's Sultan Skipper and Jimmy Marone. They're on their way to an easy victory tonight. Down the middle of the track comes Giotto. Far outside is called Quinta. Under the wire, an easy victory for 3C Sultan Skipper and Jimmy Marone. It was set up with a speed duel in the first quarter. Jimmy took advantage of it. And uh, Sultan Skipper, a well-bred sentimental skipper, comes up with a second victory of the season. A mile and two, one and three. We've got a photo place in show. And now back to Stanberg Steed. The Sultan Stable of Paramus, New Jersey, owns Sultan Skipper. Tony Menino trains him. Jimmy Marone driving him to victory as number three, letter C, paying 520, 340, 260. 6F, G, Otto, 560, 440. 4D, Al Quinton, $5 to show. The 36, that's C and F, Exacta, pays $48. The late double, one and three, A and C, that's Premier Ney and Sultan Skipper, returns $22. And tonight's OTB pick for BB, A and C, $210.90. The hospital report on uh, Merritt Doki, who was injured here, five fractured ribs and other injuries, and we wish him well. We also send our sympathies to Leo Dubin, the former president of Monticello and general manager of Yonkers, and his wife, Thelma, on the loss of their son, Donald, who was struck by an automobile in a tragic accident. Saturday night, 25 of the best...
two-year-old pacing fillies in the world will be in action here and we will bring you all of the action on our show the pick four will be the second fifth eighth and ninth races we will bring you the first the fourth the seventh and the ninth all the eliminations of the john chapman memorial and the ninth race finale to the otb pick four that's it for tonight thanks for being with us stan bergstein also for jack lee good night all